Assalamu alaikum friends you are watching exploring with Najam Today human perceive that they have advanced significantly in the race of science and technology to the extent that they are claiming achievements beyond earth's boundaries However the truth is that humans are still unaware of many mysteries of earth our own home while claiming feats in space, humans are still unraveling the secrets hidden within the depths of our planet. Similarly, today we will discuss one of the mysteries of the Earth. How deep is the Earth, and to what extent have humans been successful in drilling into it? Have you ever wondered if we start digging into the Earth in one direction, where would we end up on the other side? Or would we emerge on the other side of the Earth and find ourselves wandering in space? To learn all these fascinating facts, be sure to watch this video until the end. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to keep receiving such interesting videos. So, friends, first of all, we need to understand the Earth's crust and comprehend what components contribute to the formation of the Earth. We can indeed draw a comparison between our Earth and an onion, just like how an onion has layers of skin. Similarly, our Earth consists of various layers, and Allah has certainly ordained a purpose for these layers that are crucial for our survival. The fundamental layers of our Earth consist of four, with the first layer termed as the crust, which is approximately 50 kilometers deep. Within this layer, mountains, volcanoes, and various types of rocks are found. Moreover, it is the convergence of these large rocks plates that form the flat areas on Earth known as continents. The outer crust of the Earth is divided into two parts. The first one is called the continental crust, which is found on landmasses, and the second one is the oceanic crust, which is located beneath the dry land and under the oceans. Earthquakes occur due to the movement of these plates. Beyond the crust lies the layer known as the mantle, extending to approximately 2,900 kilometers deep. Within the mantle, elements such as oxygen, silicon, magnesium, iron, aluminum, and various metals are found all existing in a molten state within the Earth. The temperature within the Earth is approximately 4,000 degrees Celsius. This extreme heat is the reason why everything found there exists in a molten state. The outer surface of the mantle is termed the asthenosphere, and it is from this surface that the molten lava of erupting volcanoes bursts forth and reaches the Earth's surface. After the mantle layer comes the outer core of the Earth, located within the depths of the Earth's interior. The temperature here is extremely high, reaching approximately 5,000 degrees Celsius, and it consists of molten iron. Beyond the outer core lies the inner core of the Earth, located at the deepest depths of the Earth's interior. Here, the temperature reaches approximately 6,000 degrees Celsius, comparable to the temperature of the Sun. What's remarkable is that despite such extreme temperatures, the inner core of the Earth remains in a solid state, primarily composed of iron. The presence of such intense heat within because our planet is situated within the vast expanse of space, where temperatures are extremely cold. It is the inner core of the Earth that plays a crucial role in maintaining a relatively stable temperature conducive to human habitation. Additionally, the inner core of the Earth provides us with another benefit. It helps protect us from the dangerous solar radiation. Due to the presence of the inner core, a powerful magnetic field is generated in the outer core of the Earth. This magnetic field acts as a shield, safeguarding us from the hazardous solar radiation emitted by the sun. So, friends, the question arises. Despite the extremely hot environment within the Earth, how far have humans been able to reach into the Earth's depths? Now, let's discuss the deepest borehole ever drilled into the Earth, known as the Kola Super Deep Borehole, located in Russia. The drilling of this borehole began in 1940, with the aim of delving deep into the Earth's crust, Scientists set a target depth of 15,000 meters and managed to reach a depth of 12,262 meters by May 24, 1970. After reaching this depth, on June 6, 1979, the project encountered a significant problem. The machinery began to break down and the extreme temperatures caused some parts to melt. Despite attempts to continue drilling, the project faced various challenges. In 1983, further drilling efforts were made, but eventually, for reasons advised by scientists, the project was halted. Subsequent attempts to resume drilling were made until 2005, but the project was eventually abandoned. 
The workers involved in the project reported hearing strange and eerie noises when they reached the depth of 12,262 meters. These noises were described as akin to someone screaming in pain or as if someone was sneezing in agony. The unnerving nature of these sounds led to further hesitation and ultimately contributed to the decision to halt the project. And what kind of sounds were they? So friends, let's listen to those voices. Very eerie indeed. In addition, the temperature at that depth was around 180 degrees Celsius, causing the machinery to melt like water. It felt as if they were in the depths of hell, with tormented souls present. Therefore, scientists named it the Well to Hell. Due to these harrowing conditions, the project was not further pursued and was eventually sealed, leading to speculation that it truly delved into the depths of hell. However, the quest for knowledge did not cease. Despite the challenging conditions deep within the Earth, scientists devised a method using specific types of energy waves to penetrate the veil, hiding the remaining mysteries of the Earth. These unique waves have the ability to travel through the Earth's interior and have been known to predict natural disasters before they occur, alerting birds and animals beforehand. However, humans have yet to fully understand these waves, but they have enabled us to explore deeper into the Earth's secrets. Yet, the mystery of the well to hell remains unsolved to this day. The decision to halt work on the Kola Superdeep Borehole was indeed influenced by rising temperatures deep within the Earth. However, the veracity of the recorded sounds from that depth remains uncertain as there is no definitive evidence to confirm or refute their authenticity. Similarly, various claims and stories from other regions regarding the Earth's mysteries exist, but the extent of their truthfulness remains unknown. It is a reminder that while we strive to uncover the secrets of the Earth, there are still many mysteries that elude our understanding. The existence of hell within the Earth is a matter of religious belief and interpretation. Many Muslims believe that there is a lower level of hell located beneath the Earth's surface. However, whether there is a physical passage or route from our world to hell is not within human capability to determine. Certainly only Allah knows best. Reflecting on the intensity of worldly fires that can melt even iron machinery, it is indeed thought-provoking to consider the severity of the flames of hell. The fuel of hell, as mentioned in Islamic tradition, is indeed human beings. These reflections remind us of the profound intensity and seriousness of the concept of hell in various religious traditions, emphasizing the importance of leading a righteous and virtuous life. Allah's protection is sought from the fire of hell. So friends, I hope you gained a lot of knowledge from today's video. Please do let me know in the comments what you think about this topic and how you found today's video. I'll be back soon with another interesting video. Until then, take care and thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.